Hey guys, welcome to a brand new special episode of Holly Wolves. I'm Michael. And I'm Matt. And we're here to talk about all of the goofy, dumb garbage of Hollywood. <laughs> oh, yes. Goofy, dumb garbage indeed. And some fun stuff from Geek Week, which was, was a part of, I guess, they tried to put this a part of E3-ish. That See, this is, this is where I think Netflix fucked up, um, because... They were definitely trying to like, oh, this is a part of E3. Like, it's really not. It's not. Like, this ain't this ain't video games. It's really not. Like, they thought they were cute. Y'all, y'all are, are a streaming service about like, movies and TV shows. Right? They were really trying to do this during E3 so they could get some type of, like, extra spark from, I guess, like, residual, like, people. Like, oh, yeah, this is, like, something important. Yeah. You know, video games and TV goes hand in hand. It's, like, not really. Not really, but like, I guess. Like, yeah. I watch, I watch, like, Netflix through my, like, Xbox and my ps4 but also like no yeah they were definitely trying to like wrap the coattails of e3 <laughs> they thought they were cute i saw it yeah i saw right through that i'm like this is really convenient of timing <laughs> right yeah like yeah let's just let's just throw in some streaming stuff right at e3 because video games and yeah. streaming and streaming services teehee they should have just said can we be at e3 too <laughs> really i should have just did just ask that if you want to be a part of e3 just ask it to be a part of e3 yeah just just be a part of e3 it's okay it's like that person's like there's a concert going on somebody outside the concert trying to like do a concert too like hey i'm doing a concert like uh we're not here for you right <laughs> like can i can i headline e3 like <laughs> sure do what you want but to, I guess. But to be honest, like E3 wasn't that great this year too, so it Ooh. probably would have actually helped if they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can hear all about uh the E3 experience on uh The Rush Hour, yes. Yes. So whole episode. So yeah, definitely listen to both episodes. Listen to this, which yeah. you listen to right now, and listen to Rush Hour. Yeah, listen listen to this for all your like T V film music stuff. Listen to the rush hour and everything for all your video game stuff. Like this is your one stop shop for entertainment. It really is. I'm so glad it is. Shout out to DC Comics. They sent me an email today asking me, "Hey, we got black people that write for us. Tell everybody about it." <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> okay. Like this is for Juneteenth. I'm like, oh, okay, DC, fine. Huh. huh. Oh yeah, it's very, it's very opportunistic. Very, very, very convenient. DC. It was very convenient. Like I guess they needed to cover up why Batman don't eat. Um, don't Yikes. don't do uh, don't Yikes. perform. Eat. No, no fellatio <laughs> for Catwoman. <I> mean, <laughs> right? No cunnilingus for Cat. Not him. Not eat the cat. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure Catwoman wasn't going on that. He don't eat the. He don't munch the box or nothing. Damn. Right? Like you ain't got no. You, you ain't got no like no. No bat, uh, bat paraphernalia for for that kind of thing. I'm surprised he don't like a bat a, a dental dam or something. <laughs> Bring me the bat dental dam. <laughs> I need to go down on some justice. Yikes! Oh no! <laughs> now I say my vagina's been really bad back then. <laughs> I hate myself for just saying that. I I am not seeing heaven. Looks like that vagina could use some justice. I'm not seeing heaven. I'm never gonna see <laughs> the it. tongue of justice never quiets. Yikes! All right, all right. What are you watching these days? What's what's some of uh, the TV shows? So I recently started um, Record of Ragnarok. Yo, I got to watch that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like it, it. It it's very it's very silly. I knew it was gonna be too. Um, I feel like the voice acting for like the English part is a little weird, so I'm probably gonna try and rewatch it, rewatch the first episode in Japanese, see how that lines up. Uh huh. Um, the animation looks solid though. Like I like it, and it, and it feels very like it's it's a very weird pacing, but I'm into it. I need to uh see how many episodes there are. I don't think there's a whole bunch of manga, so I'm definitely gonna. I don't think it's gonna be that many episodes. Okay. Like I just I just wanted to make sure because the pacing was like. You know, it's supposed to be like thirteen gods versus thirteen mortals and everything for like that tournament and stuff. But I'm also I'm like, it's how a are you whole gonna pay- tournament arc? I love it. I mean, it is. It, that's basically all it is. <laughs> it's like, you know, you want to see Thor fight Lubu? Like, sure, Dude, do it. That's so hype. <laughs> that's a that's the first battle, by the I way. Because <laughs> I read the first manga, so I'm like, okay, this is gonna probably be a TV show. That's why I stopped reading. It. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna read the manga. I know it's gonna be a TV show eventually. It exactly happens too. Yeah, yeah. It, like it, like the animation is really solid. It's just, it's just funny. I'm like, okay. I'm watching that. I'm watching that immediately. Okay. What else are you watching? You're just watching that. No other shows. I like. I rewatched Soul Eater. Why? 
Look, I love Soul Eater. I mean, yeah, it's really good, but I'm okay. Like, like I like I also like I should have stopped because I know the ending, and like I'm just about at the end, and I know the ending is gonna make me mad. And it always happens every time I watch it. I'm like, man, Soul Eater was such a great show, and I get to the <laughs> end, and I'm like, this pissed me off. Why? Why does this have to happen this way? <laughs> you did that to yourself. I did do it to myself. You I was I, I, like, I like I forgot. I was like, yeah, and then also like, oh right, damn, this happens. <laughs> um. I don't think I'm really watching too much of anything else. I recently started reading the Animorphs books, so why? Because I won. I'm I missed out on the Animorphs and everything <laughs> as a kid because I was a whole Harry Potter kid. Oh, R.I.P. Okay. Um, and and like the Animorphs has like really good writing. Somebody gave me like a a, a great Dropbox links a uh, link to like all the books in PDF form. Oh, okay. That's so cool. I'm trying to so I'm trying to like read through that. So I'm like, okay, what's the hubbub of Animorphs? Because as a kid, I was like, this feels very dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like I don't think I should try to read through this. And so from what I hear from from what I heard, like Animorphs gets get, like goes like re- to really dark places, and it gets really like you know like yikes in some areas so for kids yeah (laughs) oh no like like people be dying from what i heard i mean people died in harry potter too but you know it's like like hard it's like ooh, you wave a mom and they're dead (laughs) 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 and this one is just like oh this is war yikes okay yeah it's 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 a lot Oh, well, that's good. You're reconnecting with stuff from your childhood. That's cool. Oh, let's see. What am I watching? Oh, Pose season finale, series finale. So oh, good. yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta watch Pose. Uh, like, that was I, so heartache. I watched the first episode with like my roommates and stuff, and that was really good. But I didn't get to like the rest of. Was it a short season? Oh uh, yeah, it was eight episodes a season. Okay, that's not bad. But yeah, season series finale. It's all over. It's, that show is a one of a kind show. It, I don't like. Uh, so I would sad. rather I would rather polls be like three seasons versus like the 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 millions of like connected but not connected seasons other Ryan Mur- Murphy shows that's have true. like American Horror Story. They're known like what season ten now and yep. like nothing makes sense anymore. So it I'm don't. like, <laughs> or I, I think they're coming off with a with a tenth season. They but, are. They yeah. already planned it. I think yeah. that's like a snapshot. I think some of the cast members and um, on Instagram. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Uh, no. Um. Like I. I'd rather like poll like. I feel like polls could have at least went on for maybe like I would say two more seasons. Two more, yeah, two would probably been good. Like, like give me five seasons, that would have been great. But uh, um, so from, from from what I heard and everything, it was it was really really beautiful. Such a groundbreaking show, just uh, beautiful, it's great. We need more shows like that. Actually, we we're do talking about trans women. My biggest gripe about that show is the fact they were trying to like really shoehorn. Uh, what's his face's character? Billy Port's character into the series. Oh, uh, pray tell. Yeah, I'm like, um, I didn't come to the show to watch this about you. I'm sorry, I would I want to watch the show about the trans women. Their yeah. stories were way more interesting. Yeah, they they do, especially with season three. Yes. From what the from they from what they look from what they were doing, uh, and and sort of towards the end of season two where they were making like pray tell the kind of like the draw of the show and it's just yeah, like I hate that. and it's uh. like i came here to see india moore and, right? and and mj rodriguez and dominique jackson i yes. didn't come here. like i i love billy porter and everything but also like he's not the face of pose he's not they wanted him to be the face of pose which i hate and i was like this wasn't about billy porter i'm like he he i'm like i get it pray tell is a, a very important character to pose but also, like this was about you know the Vogue movement in like the late in the late eighties, early nineties, and stuff like that, and trans and, women, like, and, that's and the trans po- women, that's and the th- whole point. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a major point. And it's just like, oh, it just became like you know, pray tale and like you know, like g- the gay man struggle and everything, which is also important. But yeah. also, like, no, this is about another note in queerness about how like you know, trans women paved like you know this movement and made it made it what it is, you know. Yeah, I was like not liking that, but it's only real. He only like, he only did like half the season that was like that. Mm-hmm. So thankfully they didn't do too much of him. Okay, but yeah, season season three was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Last episode was kind of sad. Okay, but uh, yeah, great show. Uh, what else I was watching? Oh, um, younger. It's all over now. Uh, series finale for that too. So now I can't watch Hillary Duff anymore. Ugh. I love Hillary Duff so much. That's a good show. That was a really that was a, that was a surprisingly good show. I was shocked. I'm like, this is gonna be really lame. It was on, it was on TV Land of all places. You know, that is of, weird. It was such a weird like station to put it on, but it, I mean, I was watching every season. It was great. 
That show came out in 2015. I didn't know that show had been on the air that long. I mean, six six years is a decent amount of time. I mean, yeah. it's it's better than like you know other shows lasting for like ten years. Yeah, that's true. And not really going anywhere. But yeah, that was that was it for that. So I need to find new shows to watch. Oh, I am watching that um, reality TV show about the uh, girl group about them. Um, oh, uh, encore. Yes, it's <laughs> so good. You have to watch episode. You have to watch it. You have to see how foolish it is it's it's such a good tv okay we, we, we can do that tomorrow i'll be over here yeah but uh, that's all i'm watching right now um of course my bl show oh wait i forgot i binge watched love victor season two which was so much better oh season two was so much better oh so much better uh, oh yeah i remember you talking about hate watching that i was so. gonna go to hate watching it but they were surprisingly it was really good oh okay they well. fixed the characters that i didn't want i mean they still messed over the black girl but it wasn't as bad as season one but still hmm. oh well there you go it's doing better i, I like the show that's good that I'm, I'm glad love victor is working out for you i need more gay cause, shows because <laughs> you because you were going through it i was because that first season was tough Ugh. <laughs> oh it was so bad but yeah season two was really good they gave you more depth about the, the um the um the parents mm-hmm. um the other characters in the show like they, they didn't focus on victor as much as they did the first season. first season was too much victor okay he was a terrible but, character but the name of the show is love I victor no but he's so terrible it's like i don't want to see this little boy no more damn so yeah that's where i'm at Okay. So that's not, what I'm really watching. I'm going to try to see what else is not, coming on. Not so. bad. Like a lot of queer entertainment or queer tainment. Yes. I need all my queer entertainment. All my BL shows from Philippines. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's move on to some casting news. We all love right. this. Okay. It's kind of my favorite part of the show, actually. I, I mean, cast, casting news is always great. It's always interesting who they decide to play different roles and stuff. So up first, Issa Rae is going to be voicing Spider-Woman. Woo! I, I can't wait for that. That's going to be so good. And this is for Into the Spider-Verse 2, right? Yes. This is going to be really interesting. Uh, I, I, I really can't wait to see what happens with Into the Spider-Verse 2, because uh, Into the Spider-Verse was so good. That was an incredible movie. Like, still probably the best Spider-Man it movie is, I've seen. It is. I had to just, like, chalk it up. Like, this movie was just too good. Like, it just... It does everything I need in a movie to do. <laughs> and, and and not to say that, like, Tom Holland's like Spider-Man, because Tom Holland's is still still probably the best Spider-Man. This is still a part of the best, like, live action one, of course. But yeah. overall, Spider-Man movies? Oh, yeah. Spider-Man like, like, is. Yeah, I need, I need more Miles Morales. Like, give me more of that. Oh, that, that That's great. I'm so tired of Peter Parker, honestly, <laughs> to be honest. Look. Like, I feel like Tom Holland did a great job of reviving that character because I'm, I'm just so over him. Well, because I think every time we see, like, every time they do, like, Peter Parker and everything, he's, like, not in, like, I, was Andrew Garfield's, like, Peter Parker in high school? He was, like, in college, I think. See, like, they, they, they mess up the whole origin of Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man was in high school and everything when he yeah. got his powers. Yep. And so it's just, like, give me more of Spider-Man being, like, you know, the kid and, and everything. Like, yeah, he's facing real danger and everything, but it's not as serious as they make it out to be. And oh. so, like, I think that's what the um the live action movies did a really good job of, like just building up the danger. Yeah, they did a good job, especially on the first one. Yeah, like With the like, vulture. Uh, oh, that was so good. Like like homecoming and everything. Like it was like you know he homecoming was still doing so neighborhood. Good. He was still doing neighborhood stuff, but like you know it escalated into like oh this could be like a potential world threat and everything. But like you know vulture was still like you know neighborhood stuff so it, yeah. it worked out it was more street, street level as they call it yeah and then and then like you know you get to far from home where Cannot like not wait oh, i'm going like, in the theater for that um and then you, yeah you get to far from home with mysterio and everything like that and then who knows when no way home is gonna be like oh god i cannot uh, wait i cannot wait uh, yeah I'm, I'm very interested to see how that uh, how that's gonna turn out but Issa ray as spider woman spider woman from what i know in the comic books is very like smart alecky like she has a like she's very like quick-witted and stuff so Issa Rae yeah, yeah, is so yeah. good Issa, Issa Rae is like this she's like quick-witted like, smart alec like Issa Rae is very good at being a smart alec yes. smart so like I'm really excited to see that was uh, such a good casting. how she brings this character to life yeah I can't wait for any movie to come out all right um who's up next who else got casted recently um, um let's see oh Lance Riddick as Wesker I I can't <laughs> wait for it as <laughs> As much as I love Albert Wesker, and I'm like, Wesker stand. look, look, Wesker did nothing wrong. <laughs> did did he did he look? Did he was he like the main antagonist of Resident Evil yes, Five for a while? Yeah, like I mean, I like I he really was like the main antagonist for uh, Cole Veronica too, if I'm not mistaken. I so I think I think Capcom kind of messed up like killing Wesker off so early. Why he was five games in? Look, I, I'm just saying we could have had. 
if, 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 if you're a stay, that's all it is. Like, what do you more Weskers? Uh, look, yeah, we, five, Wesker, yeah, five I, games, my I feel like Wesker could have died in Resident Evil 6, and that would have been it. Oh, he beat to die before. His, how are you going to have his son then? I mean, that's what's but see, that would have been perfect, though. Like, Jake would have just killed He would have killed his son, probably, if he would have saw him. And that would have been aight. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> we ain't seen Jake since 6, so that's true. clearly. We've seen other people from 6 since then, except for, like, the main people. Wait, 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 who? Leon. Oh well, look, I'm I'm a you look, you know I'm I'm always down to scan the goat, Leon Scott Kennedy. Oh God, the Edge Lord. <laughs> okay, it's better than Chris running around whoa, shooting people wearing whoa, all black. Whoa, Daddy Chris, whoo Jesus. Okay, look, whoo Jesus, he looks see, so you, good. You see okay. one little model of him that somebody like be smirched on Twitter, and I don't then think it's besmirched. That is God like. Okay. Um, Even besides that, that the um the underwear mod for that game, ugh. Not underwear, man. Yeah. See, this is this is why I hate gamers because they don't, <laughs> they don't they don't need to be doing this stuff. Dude, have you seen the bar for uh, Resident Evil Three with Jill just naked, <laughs> titties out? I may have like I'm sure, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Shut up. Whoa, Shut up. whoa, 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 Shut whoa, whoa. Up. I I, I may have seen it. Shut up. I saw the same thing with Claire, and I was just like, oh, okay, like y'all really did this, Carlos. Woo, Jesus. Oh yeah, I I, I saw that too. I was like, okay. That 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 Praise didn't need to be God. a thing. Praise but, God. But Lance Reddick as Wesker is gonna be really interesting. Fair. I'm wondering what they're gonna I don't know what direction they're gonna go with this show. I'm me too. Um oh it's gonna be a show? I thought it was gonna be a movie. Is it gonna be a show or a movie? I I think it's gonna be a series, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a series. But um, either way though, I'm excited. Yeah, like like Lance Reddick is is um if you don't know who Lance Reddick is, you've seen him in um You've you've heard his voice at least. He's in. Uh, I know he's in John Wick. I forget like some of the other notable things that he in, that he's in. Um, um, he played the captain in the Castlevania series. Yeah, I like th- season three. Like like he was very like he's a very like notable. Oh, character. he was on Supergirl too. He was Martian Manhunter. I just remembered that. Huh. Yeah. I just it just popped in my head. Like, man, that made that face is familiar. Yeah, Lance Lance Reddick is is a very interesting like uh casting choice. But I'm with it. Like and for live action too, I'm like, hmm, I wonder how they're gonna make this work. But I'm down to see it. I can't I can't wait till it comes out. Yeah, we got some time. I think they're still just shooting it now, so Okay, well then yeah, that that'll probably be out next year. Let's see what we got for some casting. Oh god, the let's go to that last. Um Aaron Tyler Johnson, also known as the sexy Quicksilver. It's gonna and, be playing Craven in the Sony Spider Verse, I guess we can call it. So, I'm so ready for this man to play Craven. You don't understand. I love Craven. I mean, Craven is so hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Craven as a character is hot. I was like, I'm like, why is Craven hot? When I was little. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course, of course. That's what it is. Because because why wouldn't it be? Like I'm sitting there looking at him the like accent. Oh god, you kidding me? What 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 is Craven again? Like, because oh, like, like, I, I remember Craven having some sort of like weird accent, but I forget what it is. Craven was always hot. Oh my god! <sighs> not you, not you, not you watching the original like Spider Man cartoon. Yes, on like Fox Kids and yes. just going like, yeah, Craven. I was always happy to see him. I'm like, why is I'm happy to see Craven all of a sudden? Oh my god! Look, everybody has their thing. Okay, I mean, I get it. Where is he from? Craven was off the perch though. He like he just he stayed trying to be like Sergey Kravinov. Yeah, he probably like some type of Slavic. That's gotta be like. Well, let me see. Is he Russian? Some some sort of Eastern European. It has to be. Do, do, do. Let me see. He is Soviet immigrant. Okay. Let's oh see. no no oh okay oh okay they went there. He, he he's Russian. There he goes. Yep. Russian nobility. Oh god, I love Craven so much. Okay. So like, having Mister Kickass slash Mister what could be perfect for him because he did um. Quicksilver with the accent, so he knows how to do. Oh uh, well, yeah, like, oh uh, yeah, like I guess I, I'm interested. Like oh, he, no, he, he probably gonna have to bulk up more than he did. Oh, that's be even better. That's even better. Oh, because I, because I was gonna say, Craven ain't no little boy. He not, but I'm sure he wanted to just bulk up anyway. Be, men love doing so, that for movies. Uh, you know what? You right. Oh God, that man is already so, hot. So this is for the Sony. Yeah, for the Sony. Um, thing, mm, so I, I feel like they could have they could have put him in the MCU again. They could have, but you know how they are. Oh well, I mean, yeah, if. No, because then that would have to be a separate thing because he's already Quicksilver. Yep. So, like, him putting him in the Sony. But, like, who is he going to be hunting if Spider-Man ain't going to be there? I'm not sure. They haven't said exactly what they're going to do with, like, what character's going to be. I mean, for what property going to be for. 
but they just announced that he's gonna be playing them. So watch you being like Morbius or something. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Ugh. I yeah, I'm not watching that either. Ugh. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, like Morbius. I was Unless like, they pull a blade out of there, out of nowhere, that's the only way I'm gonna care about that. Cause honestly, I don't like more like Morbius out of all the. I was like out, out of all the char- out of all the Marvel characters that Ugh. you could have done probably. Uh, I was like, can I get a Black Cat movie or something? Like that? <laughs> don't get me started on my girl Black Cat Felicia Hardy. Like you put Morbius in it? What? Yeah, <laughs> that don't make no sense. I don't, I'm not excited about that. I'm more excited about anything else but Morby. Like, I mean, I get, I, I, yeah, I'd, I'd rather just like go see Venom too. Venom. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Why, why you gotta hurt me like that? <laughs> all right, let's talk about the last casting news. Okay, it's the most controversial of all of them, which oh, is uh. Mindy Kaling will be playing the voice of Velma in the upcoming Scooby Doo reboot for HBO Max. So, one, I'm kind of curious about how this is going to end up. Like, are they tr- are they trying to do a darker, grittier Scooby Doo? I don't think so. Don't where think like so. they swear and everything. Like, I look, I want to, I want to, I want to look. I need, I need Velma to say like Jinkies and then like the F word or something wow. like that. That's going to be great. Well, like, let me let me watch that. Like, let Scooby say, <laughs> let Scooby say the F word, but you know, Ruck. <laughs> <laughs> all right you're definitely on timeout now you're on timeout because <laughs> you're being foolish look scooby that would be ratings what are you talking about oh God, people love watching that i don't need scooby-doo be r-rated i don't need that I, I, look it'd be perfect because scooby-doo speaks in r's anyway uh-huh. <laughs> or, or, or r-rated ruby Roo. shut up shut up oh my god <laughs> but um okay so mindy kaling as velma dinkley I'm okay with that. Is yeah. this is this supposed to be live action or is this like a voice thing? Oh, it's a voice. This is gonna be on a cartoon. I, so okay. But they're gonna Give change it, Velma to be a, uh, Asian though. Uh, okay, that's not that's not terrible. It's but not. also, it's weird that like people were getting like v- rampantly racist. Like I expected of Twitter at this point. Of course, where, he's not just a character that's white gets changed to anything other than white. People get racist about it, and it's so weird because I'm like, when has Velma being white? ever been important to her character her most important trait is she has glasses that she loses right like (laughs) velma's thing is that she's smart and she wears glasses that's 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 literally the character that's that's literally the character that's literally what she does she's where she wears orange she's smart and she wears glasses that's pretty much it like she has a bob she wears a skirt that's that's literally that's velma. that could be any race <laughs> like anybody literally could, any race anybody and, could do that. and it's so weird how like how like fans of like any medium and everything once 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 their favorite character changes races all of a sudden you're 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 black you're black fit uh you're blackwashing velma and it's just like what yes that's not even a real thing <laughs> somebody said that about I something know. too and I, I was like what Blackwashing? What? Blackwashing? I can say race bending, that makes more sense, but blackwashing, that's dumb. And but even then, it, like what what? You're you're mad that Velma's gonna be Asian? It's so stupid. What? Like her being white has never been important. None of them being white has anything to do with the, like, the like character. literally you could you could switch up their ethnicities at any time. Like just keep the same personalities. It's still gonna be Scooby Doo. It really is. Like the only thing that the only thing about Scooby Doo that needs to stay Scooby Doo is that Scooby Doo needs to be a Great Dane. That's yep, it. that's it. That's the only person that can't change races. Right. Like, <laughs> like that's like that. Like if you made Scooby into like a human or something like that, then then we have a problem. It's just like weird. wait, what? That'd no. Be weird. Not Scooby Doo being a real person. Hey, I wouldn't put it past like WB or or wait, who owns Scooby Doo now? Uh, Is it still Hanna Barbera? I think so. It, it, let let Hanna Barbera turn Scooby Doo into like a human or something. And they de- they might do it one day. <laughs> I hate that people being racist towards Mindy because of this though. It's so stupid. It's it's very stupid. Like, this is what we do is down this road so many times though. Like, like every time this happens, it's the same thing. Oh, all right, my character's not white no more. My, my childhood. Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> my country, my America, they took our gas. Right. And, uh, and it's just like, what? No. It's this... just a cartoon. Or just watch the original. The original is still there. Oh, my God. There, there's so many iterations of Scooby-Doo that so you can still many. watch. Watch the live like, action movie if you really want that. Right. Like, Linda Cardellini is right there. Like, she's, still, she's still Velma. It's still okay. Like, I hate that. Like, that's not taking away your... The new one doesn't take away from the old one. The old one's still going to be there. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, decades of history already. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> How dare they turn my Scooby-Doo Asian. I, hate I don't it. like it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. You know what? It. No. Make Daphne a black woman. Make Fred Latino. <laughs> and keep Shaggy white. Bam. 
I would give me an all F and Scooby Doo. I'm, I'm with it. I'm down for that. All right, let's talk about Geek Week. Yay, Netflix Geek. They tried so hard. You get a, you get a, you get an A for effort of uh, Netflix. I mean, you're lucky you have some good stuff there. You're lucky. Yeah, there, 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 there was there were a lot of good notables. Like, um, I'm, but there were a lot of like stuff that we that we don't really need to mention, but we're gonna mention anyway. You, know, you want to get the other way first? Where we talk about the yeah, 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 yeah. Le- you know what? Let's do that. Like, let me just... le- let's see. There's Lock and Key season two. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Michael, what if what if there? What if we talk about this? You talk what if, what if for some of our viewers want to know about this stuff? You can go to Netflix.com backslash Lock and Key. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay there's there's what uh i think there's another season of lucifer i mean like i i almost watched that show for the main character because he's hot but i'm not gonna watch the show because i don't care about look um he's a sexy british man what do you want and he's really gay in real life well, oh oh he yeah he, he's a whole homo oh i didn't know that yes oh, okay well i mean good i guess i love a brunette so it's a, it's a thing there you go um <laughs> Let's see what else is coming out. Like there's a uh, the Sandman adaptation by I, Neil I'm Gaiman. I'm a little bit interested in that, just a little bit. I've never like I've never gotten into Neil Gaiman stuff, so like I I hear his writing is really really good. I just never got into it. So Me neither. Like, so I might just watch it for episode. But I think the Sandman is a DC adaptation of his. I think so. Um, so that looks pretty interesting. Uh, we got Kate, uh, La Casa de Papel uh cobra kai i don't really care Boom. <laughs> um let's see there's sweet tooth i didn't watch that so i don't oh, that's care that, that's that um robert Downey jr uh property right I what think he's a sweet part. tooth yeah i remember him tweeting about it oh um i mean i guess if he ain't, <laughs> look if he ain't iron man i don't care <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You gonna you gonna you gonna hop he's, back into the mark uh, mark forty two or something? But he's Sherlock Holmes too. What? <laughs> he ain't British? Yikes! He's I not. I rather I rather Johnny Depp be Sherlock Holmes and everything. At least he could pull off a British accent more convincingly. I mean, it's because he doing those damn movies with Tim Burton. <laughs> Look, you know Tim Burton has a heart on for London. That's true. <laughs> he loves London. Man, I'm shocked they didn't make Tim Burton direct a Harry Potter movie. That would have been oh, perfect. Oh God, that would been so. That would be pretty epic if he did. But we can't talk about Harry Potter here. Ah. We don't support that lady. Yes. <laughs> um, shame I can't remember who wrote Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, God, I would. I wish I could remember. So difficult, man. What else uh, are we not talking about today? Oh, uh, <laughs> let's see. There's Vikings Valhalla. I was gonna watch that show too. I decided not to. I saw the show. I'm like, this is this is nothing but white propaganda. I'm good. <laughs> not white propaganda, dude. That is all about we were Vikings. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. Uh, let's see. There. I mean, there is like a Godzilla thing coming out. Oh, Godzilla yeah. Singular Point, which that's looks a, interesting. Uh, anime. I think I might watch that. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, there's a lot more, but there's 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 just so uh what there's the R.L. Stein Fear Street trilogy. That's for you, that's for you you um nostalgic people. Whoa, that's for y'all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I may have read like a Goosebumps book here and there. <laughs> Goosebumps. Um, I I I think I've read like maybe like two or three Fear Street books. I don't ever why read any of that stuff. I mean, Goosebumps was hidden for a while. Like he's. Carl Stein should just make more Goosebumps book. Like, I would love to see a Goosebumps book, like, written in, like, 2020 oh or something my God. like that. <laughs> like, knowing him, it'll probably end up like Black Mirror or something. Probably. <laughs> it'll be Black Mirror for kids, honestly. Right? <laughs> like, not Black Mirror for kids. <laughs> That'd be too good. <laughs> like, the terrible twos, they, they tablet die and everything, and then they just scream until everybody, like, dies or something like that. That'd be... Yikes. Look. That's some stuff R.L. Stein will write. Like, I mean, let's let's not kid ourselves. True that. All right, is that all the junk we're not gonna watch? <laughs> uh, yeah, because there's 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 just a lot to go through. Okay, so let's go some stuff we actually are gonna watch. Okay, who do you want to pick first? You can pick it. Our next topic. Uh, you know what? Let's talk about the Castlevania spinoff. Woo! So so down for this. So, uh, if you all don't know, uh, Castlevania just recently ended its like its main iteration featuring uh Trevor Belmont and Sifo Belnades. Yep. Uh, with four season and oh, of course, Adrian Alucar Tepe. Uh, the best. God. Um, season four was really, really good. So good. Some things felt rushed a little bit. Uh, I, some of the animation was kind of weird for some scenes, but yeah, some of the animation was a little weird for certain things. Um, but I think that was mainly because of the controversy surrounding uh, surrounding the show's creator, yeah. Warren Ellis. Uh, for for uh, 
I don't even want to speak about that because that was kind of heinous. I was like, oh, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, it's the spinoff. Could yeah, what's it gonna have? Richter Bell was gonna be the main character. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, so Netflix did like a little goofy typo. I think fans got really upset at Netflix. They were like, uh, Richter isn't Trevor and Cypher, son. That's wrong. You don't know anything about canon. <laughs> what are you doing, Netflix? That's not true. Uh, so apparently, like you know, uh, Richter is generations down from. He's very much way down. <laughs> yeah, generations from uh Trevor. Uh, in terms of the blood, uh, the Belmont bloodline. Yeah, he comes way later. Yeah, like he's like the great, 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 great. Like this is like some, like some are uh, quite a few generations later, if I'm not mistaken. Like yep. at least. Uh, cause it takes place in like the 1700s, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's... And so like that, that's a quite a few generations later if we're, if, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, I'm really excited to see how this ends up. Yep. I wonder what to do about Dracula. Cause I mean, that was the main antagonist for, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but Dracula ended up being a uh, spoiler alert. Uh, Dracula's alive at the end of <laughs> season yeah, four. He was so Who happy. Knew? Oh my God. I love Dracula. I like I I that was a good happy like I felt like all the like all the characters we wanted to see get a happy ending got a he happy ending. He deserved it. Dracula went through a lot, okay? He did. He went to hell for <laughs> no reason. He didn't need to be there. I mean, he, 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 he's Dracula. We know why he went to hell. If he was if he just left him alone and his wife alone, then none of that would have happened. Okay, like the church was on some The wild. church was the one that used to go to hell. They was on bull. They were. They were. They were. They were like, uh, "You a witch, right?" Because she talking about medicine and science. They like, right. What like, science? wait, wait, what science? <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with God. Oh, you got to burn. Sorry. You um, love God. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was that was literally the bishop. He's like, "You don't love God." <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get you up out of here. I'm sorry. Yeah, they got her out of here. That was so ter- oh, that was so tragic how they killed her. <sighs> yeah, and then Dracula was like, Look, like where my wife at? She <laughs> dead? I bet. Y'all got one year to get out. Right. <laughs> and if you don't, <laughs> it's over with. He was so <laughs> generous to even do that. He yeah, he was uh, like a year, a whole year. And then then had- they then they came back a year later and was like, he's Hey, dumbies. remember remember last year when we <laughs> killed that witch? Oh, did she fry up so nicely? I was so like bad. jerk chicken. I was so bad. They're like, yo, that's stupid. <laughs> and then and then Dracula was like, oh, y'all still here? I think his stuff is he ha ha, don't y'all? <laughs> right, like, <laughs> all right, daddy gonna punish you today. He's like, I gave y'all a year. I told you, it's he, over. He with. really did. He was generous when he gave him a year. I right. gave him a day. <laughs> like, leave everything behind. He needed. Remember, he said he needed a year to ga- gather all his armies and stuff. So oh, true. Yeah. So he's like, look. <laughs> Y'all got one year before I before I get the squad, and if you ain't out of Tartovich, it's <laughs> it's done. I'm burning <laughs> like it's over with, and they just didn't do it. They were like, "You ain't real, <laughs> whatever." Right, like, nah, he ain't on nothing. <laughs> right, and then he came out of the sky. I was like, "Man, you had your chance, night Oosh. creatures." <laughs> oh god, night creatures. <laughs> So, but yeah, I'm definitely excited about this new show. Hopefully yeah, there's I, more information about it. Probably, maybe a trailer would be nice. Yeah, I I, f- I feel like I feel like we'll probably get something maybe towards the end of this year, if not early next year. Probably. I can't wait to see that. All right, what's next? What else we got? Uh, we could talk about the Cowboy Bebop Woo, live, live action. action. Yeah, I'm interested to see how th- how this will end up and yeah. how and how the old school anime fans are going to take oh, this. God, they're going to be so I, I know awful. they're going to tear this apart. Why, like, why is John Cho going to be um, Spike Spike Spike? Oh, <laughs> and it's just God. like you do real like you do realize this crap doesn't matter. They really don't. Um. I need to rewatch Cowboy Bebop to be honest. I've like, watched Cowboy Bebop way too many times, <laughs> like at least three, like the entire series. Because it all comes on, on Netflix. I'm not like, well, um, don't swim. I just watch all just because cause it was just beyond. So I've yeah, watched I it. mean, it's it's one of those notables that like Netflix, uh, that um, Adult Swim keeps like r- rotating and stuff. It's such a good show. It's I mean, yeah, like anime. I mean, like I mean, I'd rather watch that than Evangelion, Ugh. the other old school anime that I'm people can't that. let go. I'm good on that. I really uh, watched. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop was really entertaining. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I I can't wait to see how this ends up, and the casting for it is supposed to be really interesting too. Yeah, uh, I wish they would be done with it. Give us a trailer. And then, um, the original composer for Cowboy Bebop is coming back to do oh, the score good. for the show. Yes, give us some jazz. I, like, I I can't wait for that. Oh, that good old that's jazz gonna music. be great. 
Yes. Like I like I already know the soundtrack gonna have bangers. It's gonna be so lit. It's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Put like, it on I can't Spotify, wait. please. <laughs> please. Yeah, just put everything on Spotify. Please. Like don't be playing like, around with me. Like I'm still I'm still waiting on uh the Guilty Gear Strive soundtrack to go on Spotify. It's gonna take a while probably. <sighs> Yeah, but I'm but I'm okay with that because you know I got the digital soundtrack. I could just listen to that. But they didn't really talk about like, a whole bunch about the um Kyrie Bebop thing. They just said, "Yeah, it's coming out." <laughs> yeah, like oh yeah, it's coming out this fall, and they were like, "Yeah, watch it." I'm like, could y'all give us like at least like a a, a trailer or a yeah, poster like, or something? Yeah, can I get can I get some like some stills? <laughs> right? Can I see how he looks in the costume? Jeez. It's like, nope, ain't none of that. I mean, what's the point of having a whole week dedicated to Netflix um, exclusives and not give us any exclusives? Tell yeah. us what's coming out is not really exclusive. What well, I guess I guess Netflix Geek followed the E3 example because... Uh, yeah, E3 wasn't that exciting? Really and was. Netflix Geek wasn't that exciting? Yikes. I mean, there was so good stuff that popped out. Look, I, was so I wasn't geeked for Netflix. Uh-huh. Geeked. Tee hee. You're so funny. I am. You're so funny. I'm hilarious. <laughs> If Netflix wants to get funny, I'll be hilarious, and and I'll and I'll uh I'll tear this down another notch. I don't care. Like they should have did better. You know what was funny? What Cuphead show? Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. That's I'll... that's gonna be interesting. I can't I can't wait to see how that how that ends up. And then having Wayne Brady as King Dice, right, makes uh, makes a whole lot of sense to be honest. Wayne Brady is a really good like performer. He really is. Like. For for like just think, like you know even some of his older stuff and like when he was on like Who's Line um and then like even the stuff he does on Let's Make a Deal and everything like he's very good at like being an entertainer yeah so, so like, having him as like King Dice is is gonna be really good to see that's gonna be zany and over the top and just oh uh, I can't wait to see like, what right like it. like that old like the old school like nineteen twenties thirties cartoons vibe I I can't wait for that yeah. That's that was a that was a surprising like um, reveal to that being a show coming out. Right, didn't see that coming. I guess I see that trying to like tie in, you know, Cuphead being a video game. So in fact, there's a video game getting a uh, show. That's how it ties into E3. Get it? I mean, if if that was the case, then we could have just said like Netflix and stuff. Oh well, Castlevania. See, uh, they be- have games that are now going to be TV shows. And anime. And anime and video games are related. You know how many anime has been made into video games? You know how many video games could be anime? I hate you. Anime, <laughs> video games, anime. <laughs> Let's talk about Master of the Universe. All right, all right, yes, so all right, yes. This, this, is, this is all you. <laughs> so hype. You and your boomer show. <laughs> Your boomer cartoon. Yo, first of all, that's uh, not a boomer show. Uh, no, wait, boomer. it's a Gen X show. Sorry. Yeah, please, don't put me in there with the, the old people. Look, Gen X is are old people too? Look, I am close. Well, no, I'm not even close to being a Gen X. I'm still No, no you're, you're a millennial. I am a millennial. I was there when that show came out. Yeah, but you, I mean, you were not you were a baby. You didn't know what that crap was about. I didn't, but I know it was like something was not right. <laughs> like, why are these people so buff? Look, I I think the I think the people the creative like He Man and like you know she like those creators just needed to, like they these shows were clear coded. They coded. show was oh my god. Speaking of which, I'm in a uh, Master of the Universe group on Facebook that somebody just dropped me into. Uh-oh. I decided to just stay. Like you know, I'll just stay. Okay. <laughs> And the discourse for this show is particularly people are like, oh, it's not like the original cartoon. It's too dark. It's not like the cartoon from my childhood. I'm like, Yo, what? Child. Yes. <laughs> Huh? These old forty year old people. I mean, they don't See, I, t- I told you, yep. it's, the, it's them damn Gen Xers. Gen Xers are annoying. They're, They're like, annoying. oh my god, how come this isn't like this and everything? And it's just like your childhood was stupid. <laughs> there were a lot of bad shows from the Gen X um, era of cartoons. There's a lot of terrible ones. Uh, yeah, some of those stuff was not good. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, look, let it be a dark He Man and everything. Like, it's, it looks it's okay. Good. Did y- like, I bet they didn't watch that um that Thundercats uh oh the uh, reboot for that yeah yeah they probably didn't watch not that. like not like the super cartoony one and everything oh, that everybody that hated one. that that wasn't for them anyway. But yeah. I'm talking about like the like the anime wasn't wasn't it an anime kind of sorta of, I think. So like yeah, y'all didn't watch that. Did. So that like, good, so actually. why do you care now? Uh, I'm did. I'm kind of excited. I, just, I still need to watch the trailer for it, but from the stills that I saw, like He Man looks good. It's and he, I mean, he's so just as good. old as he was back then. Jesus, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for this. I I, I think that's I think that's gonna be uh, really good. When is when is this release? Um, I think it's about this year. 
Let me see it quick. I'm pretty sure it comes out like sometime this year. I hope so. <laughs> hmm. It's supposed to come out. Oh. Come on, come on, Variety. Tell me what to know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Uh, I'm just saying, like you know, I I kind of just want to know when this is coming oh, out. July 23rd. Oh, okay, next so month. It's very close. Okay, cool. We got a month. I'm watching that day one. I want to see He Man slice and dice. I want to see Skeletor be people like Skeletor's voice. They say his voice is not nasally enough. I'm like. That was the original cartoon from we, like we we don't we don't, we, no. no we don't need it. I, if Skeletor don't sound like Ganondorf or something, I don't care. <laughs> like I like I like if if we're gonna sit there go for like a grittier reboot and everything, Skeletor needs to be more menacing. Yeah. Like no, we don't need like the goofy like stuff back in the eighties. We ain't in the eighties no more. We really not. Thank you, Kevin Smith, for doing this. I'm very very oh, excited. Oh, see that see that now this makes a lot more sense. Kevin Smith is doing this. Yes, interesting. He's a huge nerd. Of I course, like like I I wouldn't expect anything less of him. Like he's he's been doing a lot of like nerd stuff lately. So I'm like I'm happy about that. All right, let's get us out the way. Oh, the Witcher. Woo! <laughs> I can't wait for this. I'm not watching that. I don't care wow! Oh, not even for you. Not even for your husband, Henry Cavill. I will. I will look at clips on the, the YouTube. No, not the YouTube. <laughs> and call it a day because he looked terrible in that show. <sighs> the pants, the PVC. Pa- I cannot get on those pants. Like who? Who is responsible for this wardrobe? Look, you, you look. The show is good. They had they had PLCs and uh, that's fantastic. They had, they had PLC and black people and, I, and I'm like so happy you know for and them. they they looked great. They looked amazing. And Henry Cavill didn't do a bad job either. I liked him as Geralt. I mean, I didn't hate him as Geralt, but the show itself was boring. Look, I mean, that show wasn't boring. You just didn't you just didn't pay attention to it, and that's okay. Pay attention to what what, what, what was happening? What was going on? Uh, he was killing people. That was like the only good thing that happened. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't the only good thing is that happened. Like, Yennefer was really hot. Who? Okay, you know, you know I'm like... You know I'm looking for no woman in no show? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if I'm going to watch a show about a man, I'm not really looking for the women, too. It's either or. Ah. You know what? My mistake. I mean... And I even, see, I think I would care more if I played the game, but until I play the game, I definitely don't care. You know what? That's fair, because I'm, I'm not playing... Hell, I ain't playing those Witcher games either, so... I, but I'm watching this show. Like well, I'm good. I'm glad you're gonna watch season two of it. Yeah, I, I really liked it. That's good. Yeah, a lot of people did like it. I just, I, just, I don't know. I just uh, see those type of like fantasy shows are very hit or miss for me. See, sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not for me. I mean, this just I'd rather me. watch this than Bridgerton. <laughs> ew. <laughs> not ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so. I don't even have any interest in Bridgerton. I'm like, okay. I mean, that's fair. Bridgerton is just a. Uh, it's a Fwah! kind of show. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> like I have very little interest in Georgia too. I'm like okay, black people in you know Victorian times, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much Bridgerton. I mean, it's already like, it's already like a light skin propaganda show anyway. But I mean, like it's ooh, the not light skin propaganda. Like, it's the colorism of that show. That's a whole bunch of that. Yikes. But yeah, Witcher Two looks good. Maybe I'll try to watch it. Maybe I'll get another shot. Maybe I need to be in a different space in my life. You know Sometimes what? when you watch things the first time, it just doesn't really hit. You need to watch it a second time to like really get into it. Maybe I'll be. I need to watch it again. I'll give it a shot because of Henry. Only because of Henry. That's it. Look, watch, watch it for him. I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna that, watch that, it. Just, him. just watch it for Henry Cavill. I gotta just get over those damn pants. Jesus, they were so bad. They're like he went to like the nearest like I don't know cart like the worst costume shop, <laughs> paid like t- ten bucks. So give me some cheap looking leather pleathery, pants, pleathery not pants. pleather. <laughs> And he put them on. It looks so bad. Uh, leather, the poor man's leather. Right. Look, I came from a, a, a pedigree of shows like Xena, so I have a really high standard. Where at least comes with at least a wardrobe. I, I look. I feel you. Um, I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna try it again. I, I love. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah, because I wasn't watching it. I was watching it for the plot. To be honest, I'm like, okay, what is this about? Because I never, because I never played The Witcher. I'm like, okay, what is this about? I was supposed to play The Witcher, but I decided not to. <laughs> I just said no. Nah, I mean, that's fair. Like. I like. I feel like you just have to be really into fantasy and everything, and it's more like I don't want to play fantasy games. I'm cool with reading about it, and I'm cool with like watching it, but like playing fantasy stuff, it really has like the gameplay has to really engage me, and yeah. um, like it just has to it just it just has to draw me in, and I don't think like uh, The Witcher didn't do it for you. No, like not at all. You know what's gonna do it for me? 
what the last mercenary <laughs> i'm watching that <laughs> okay okay so uh <laughs> you need you need to tell me a little bit more about the last mercenary all i saw was that it's john claude van damme that's all i know Damn. <laughs> that's all i know <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm with it. I I kind of I kind of I kind of just want to see how this ends up. That's all I care about. Like I don't know very little about this show, but I know he's gonna be in the action. Like I need to watch this. You know what? I'm 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 down to see Jean Claude Van Damme's last hurrah. Right. Because <laughs> I I feel like he he only got like one or two good movies he left really of him. Don't. He he he's he's up there in age now. Yeah, the balls like, don't work like they used to. Look, it's it was probably all that coke during Street Fighter. Yikes. The fact that that came out is still hilarious to me. I'm gonna see they it. should redo that movie. I want to remake Fighter? that. I would remake Street Fighter the movie. I I I I, I, I be in there. I be in there front and center to watch that. What are you talking about? I don't know if you could remake such a classic though. <laughs> <laughs> we could re- if they could if they could reboot Mortal Kombat. We could reboot Street that's Fighter. That's different. What do you mean that's different? Street Fighter is a classic. Classic. Not classic. <laughs> not, not classic with an accent. What was this not? It's a comedy. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely down. Oh, I'm, definitely I'm, 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 I'm down. Like, no, oh, it's a it's a comedy, yes. and I know he's gonna be kicking all types of ass. Oh, it comes on July 30th. Oh. Okay, end of, end of the month. I'm I'm with it. Oh, I'm, I'm down. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, it's even better. <laughs> not, not, no, not him. Not him in a comedy. Yeah. Is it is it a show or is it a film? Oh, it's a film. Okay, I'm I'm down. <laughs> why, why not? I know he's gonna be doing some goofy little stunts. <laughs> action comedy film oh yeah yeah so he's he's definitely gonna be kicking some kind of some kind of ass probably like uh, probably like jackie chan and everything talking about i don't want no trouble (laughs) the plot is a mysterious former secret service agent must urgently return to france when his estranged son is falsely accused of arms and drug trafficking by the government following a blunder by an overzealous bureaucrat and a mafia operation Oh, that no. sounds silly. I'm I, watching that. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. watching that. <laughs> I'm, da- I'm down. I am watching that. <laughs> that that's that's gonna be great. <laughs> that's gonna be shenanigans all over. Ugh, give me that. That 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 sounds really really good. I'm with it. Was Sean Van Damme in the Expendables? I feel like he yes, was. Yes, he was. He was in the expe- he was the villain of the Expendables too. He was a villain. Yeah. Oh. The Expendables, the Expendables is all on Hulu, so you can watch. So you can watch I, it, whatever. I've seen it part one. I haven't seen part two yet. Part part two and part three is the three. There, yeah, there are three <laughs> Expendables movies, <laughs> and they all. So for for those of you who don't know, the Expendables series is Not series. <laughs> I mean, it's a trilogy, and it's <laughs> it's basic it's basic action porn. That's yeah. that's literally all it is. Remember, remember Bruce Willis. Remember, like it's member berries for like people who love old old action movies. Pretty much, like oh, I need to like watch the one. like remember Stone Cold. Remember remember Terry Crews. Remember remember Chuck Norris. Like that's that's literally it. Remember Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like it's it, it's basically like you know what if Rambo and Terminator and John McClane and uh chuck norris and uh all these people right and uh whatever like you know the universal soldier and everything and dolph lundgren and all these people were in an action movie together and all they did was kick ass and shoot guns and stab people <laughs> and do karate <laughs> and, and, <laughs> i'm done I'm so look look jet lee is in the movies oh yeah he is in that movie yeah like jet lee is in it dolph lundgren is in it um like they got some wrestlers in it because so, stone cold was in the first movie um that's too funny uh wesley snipes is in expendables 3 if i'm not mistaken so yeah like a lot of like old action movie stars are just in the go watch expendables 2 john Clyde van damme made a pretty decent villain to be all to right be honest. so i'm gonna try to watch it this weekend because I, I, I gotta i gotta watch the uh fast and furious franchise like no no michael 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 me and anthony michael. Have already talked about this michael me and anthony <laughs> already talked about this you and who anthony he's, not- in, he's involved too <sighs> my brothers are stupid <laughs> I'm trying to watch it. No, you trying to watch Fast Nine, ain't you? Yes, I want to see that. Oh my god, I want to go in the theater, sit down with popcorn and a sprite, <laughs> and watch the movie. <laughs> you know what? I can't even say nothing because my mom was like, "Yeah, let's go watch Fast Nine. And I'm like, "You really want to do this on my dad's birthday?" <laughs> She's like, it's what your dad would have wanted. I'm like, God damn it. She would know. I'm mad. She, guil- she guilty me into this. I'm she like, it is It is what dad would have wanted. <laughs> she fast died. Aw. I gotta do this as a memorial to my dad. I can literally be watching anything else. And- you need a coffee. How many have you seen? I... 
so i don't think i like of course i watched like fast and furious but i kind of skimmed through that because i didn't care about it uh-huh. uh i've seen too fast and furious too many times uh-huh definitely watched tokyo drift because that was one of- boo that was a booty movie <laughs> damn not booty movie. that movie was terrible it kind of was <laughs> <laughs> the bow wow no he was nobody's okay. star they, they could have replaced him with Romeo. he could have been be any he could have been any rapper like they could <laughs> they could have just put Lucas back in it would have been fine right? it would still work <laughs> um I think I've seen Fast and Furious. I think that's that's Fast and Furious number four. To if if you if you're not counting, <laughs> they get they get a little weirdly named after Tokyo Drift. I need to re- uh, refresh my it's, memory. It's on Fast it. and Furious is Fast and Furious four. That's Fast Five. Oh uh, yes, I think that's a Fast Five. I think the last one I saw was the one where they were pulling that that um the airplane with the cars. That's the last one I think I saw. Oh, uh, that was when that was. I think it's the one where um. What's her face? Miss Wonder Woman was in. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot was in the Fast and Furious movie? Yes, that's her start. Oh. That's where she got her whole big break from. Oh, I didn't see. Mm, oh, definitely. <laughs> see, I didn't, I didn't know that. I was. I, I, I didn't watch these. Look, I was a, I was a Fast and Furious stand for quite a while. Because you know I had bad taste in movies when I was younger. <laughs> Like I'm, just, if, I'm just mad we got nine movies. If it was action, I was watching it. I, I hope the, I hope nine is where they go to go into space. I one, it, I think one of them is going to go to space. I think it's the upcoming one, if I'm not mistaken. Because cool. they be, like, but no, I could have sworn it was this one. They were, they were going into space and everything. And well, like, we'll find out when it comes out. God, I can't. I, I can't. But y'all y'all got this. You're not gonna honor your father. I mean, I, look, I have to go see that with my mother because it's what it's what one is what my dad would have wanted, and two, like I don't like I need to I need to watch more movies with my mom anyway. There you go. So have, I haven't done it in in a while, so like, why not? There you go. New Fast and Furious movie. <sighs> oh God! All right, let's talk about our I think our last one, which is the Resident Evil live action of the cartoon. <laughs> that is gonna be interesting. We talked about a little bit about the uh, live action world. We talked about uh, what's yeah name? with Lance Reddick. Um, that's gonna be a really interesting cast because it's just it's more it's more black people and more POC than any. Yeah, because you know Resident Evil is exactly that friendly to POCs. The actual uh, cart being not cartoon. But, uh, Resident hey, Evil you know, been white as milk for as long as I can really remember. It really has been. Except uh, for Carlos, he's like the only POC really is there. And there there are no black people in Resident Evil if I'm not mistaken. What's her face from um? Uh, oh, Sheva. Sheva, right. yeah. Sheva, and then that one black police captain from uh Resident Evil Two who turned into a zombie. Right. That's it. That's a, like oh oh or can I can I aptly name like you know how like controversial Resident Evil Five was where the zombies yeah, were black yeah yeah that was crunchy <laughs> yeah. that was a little crunchy we killing black folks yeah and oh and then Sheva being 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 the uh, lighter than a brown paper bag yeah, herself yeah, killing black zombies yeah, <laughs> yeah, a, little, a, little, a little crunchy. Just a little look. crunchy, and then everybody's favorite white man, Chris, Chris punching boulders redfield. <laughs> that man is so far, Jesus oh Christ! God. All he did was he killed black people, Michael. You kill black people. What? What are you talking about? You played the game, didn't you? I, I didn't. I didn't play. Wait, yes, I did. Exactly. I, I forgot. Exactly. I, played, I, played, I played it with a friend. Exactly. I mean, look, you kill them. <laughs> That's on your conscience, that's, not on his. That's that's not my proudest moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine, as you can see right now. Yeah, Evil. like of course he's white. He don't care. Why he looks so good in Resident Evil Eight though? Jesus Christ! I'm, 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 you know what? I'm glad they changed his look in Resident Evil Eight. Yeah. Because how you looked at Resident Evil Seven, I was like, that ain't, I was like, ain't no Chris Redfield. Ain't my bad. Nope. <laughs> that's not. I was like, I and it was good because they went back to kind of like his like his design before that. So like in Resident Evil Six, Resident Evil Five, I'm like, yeah, yeah, keep him looking like that. Not like how he was in like I don't know who John what John White Man that was in Resident <laughs> Evil Seven, right. but um that's gonna be my new generic name for like any like protagonist who's white in a video game now. That's John Whiteman. Oh god, he looks so good in eight. Jesus Christ. Oof. But yeah. Thank you, Capcom. Don't thank Capcom. You know they E three presentation sucked. <laughs> it was bid. <laughs> But um, yeah, this show should be good. I'm watching both of them. Wait, yeah, what, which, is one a movie and one a TV show, or are they both TV shows? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the animated one is also a show. Okay. Um, don't hold me to that. I'm not necessarily Wait, sure. Wait, is the one that's gonna be about um the one that's gonna be about um uh, let's see 
Leon and uh, Claire? I think so. Oh, okay. I know that about that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a show. Okay, yeah. I think and, I'm trolls for that already. And I'm down, and I'm down to watch it. Uh, I think it's called Resident Evil Infinite Darkness, if yep, I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's the one. Yep, yeah. I know that one. Yeah, so that's that's definitely, Claire and uh, Leon. Definitely going to watch that, because I love Leon Scott Kennedy. <sighs> God, you a whole stand. Look, Resident <laughs> Evil 4 is the is my favorite Resident <sighs> Evil game. <laughs> Play Part 2 is when he started. What? <laughs> Play Part 2. You know what? I, Resident Evil 2 remake is out, so I could scary play that. Scary as shit! Oh my god! Oh yeah! Part two. I, like, I, look, I watch. I watched Maximilian Dude play that. Nope. <laughs> that game is. <laughs> Woo! Miss, oh, look, I, 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 I got enough stress in my life. I don't need to be. <laughs> I don't need to be solved by Mister X. <laughs> that game. I played the original Resident Evil 2. That game was not scary at all. Re- it's not because I mean you get those goofy camera angles and everything, and you, like none and then that, like that like garbage lit police station and everything and but this remake oh they they went oh, all oh out. yeah they, they they went off the rails and they stuff and then like you know the perks <laughs> ate, a, ate a little sexy ass just come waltzing in like ah, yes. leon <laughs> leon look at my perfume and everything i know you're a virgin but like if we get out of this you want some <laughs> wow look, that's literally how they build up those games to be like Leon, uh, a virgin who don't know what sex is, only wants to do his job, and he get, and he goes into Resident Evil Four. It's like, man, what's his first day on the job? Is the, the day that uh, Raccoon City went crazy? Yep, that sucks. That's gonna be the worst day. In- I'd, I'd have quit. I'd, I'd have quit been like, like, I don't know. I don't know why he like kept going. I'm like, Ra- Raccoon City gone crazy. <laughs> Guess I ain't got no job, right? I guess I'm unemployed, right? Like I would, I would have dipped. Like you heard everything was going on. You was like, man, I'm gonna make a difference. Just like, see, damn. I just realized all costs are bastards includes Leon Scott Kennedy. Yikes, but he's not like a cop no more. Oh, I mean, he a federal cop. That's different. <laughs> federal cop. Same, same thing with Chris. <laughs> Wait, Chris isn't a cop, first of all. What, what's Chris? Chris is a, a, a mercenary slash, like, secret uh, secret agent man now. Okay, that's, that's, uh, secret agents might as well be, like, you know, espionage cops. <laughs> espionage cops. Like, they, he upholding justice somewhere, so that makes him a cop. <sighs> Yikes, he did kill black people too. Exactly. Yikes. <laughs> Police brutality. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on to the final part of our podcast, which is talking about the controversy around In the Heights and their casting blunder. Oh, okay. You can see. I told you I wasn't watching this uh, musical because I don't do musicals. You watch Hamilton. Shut up. I watched Hamilton because my partner wanted me That's to watch That's a Hamilton. musical. It's uh, three hours I, I didn't watch it on my own volition. I was basically held hostage. Were you? You're a grown up. <laughs> and, and look, you're never a grown up when you're in a relationship, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, somebody taught you the wrong thing. <laughs> Free will in a relationship? That's funny. More more unlikely than you think. I hope your part does not hear this part of the podcast. Uh, this Carrie, will- I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, this is all purely for entertainment. Is it? Yeah. Sure. Hamilton was all right, but like it wasn't. It wasn't my cup of tea. Um. Well, if you like Hamilton, you'll love it not because the exact same, like the whole structure, and everything's the same. Of course, like some some goofy story thing happens, and then bam, they burst in a song for like two to five minutes with those nursery rhyme raps they had. I was not feeling that like, rap part. Lin Lin uh, Manuel Miranda. He think he is like a lyricist out of this world. I'm Look. like these kids bop raps you got coming, man. I'm I'm not that dope. I don't care if Anthony Ramos finds himself and singing it and saying no, this is what's a no for me. See, I can't believe like you know she's got to have it. Season three got canceled for this. <laughs> you can't blame this. I'm, 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 I'm blaming. It. I'm blaming it. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, in the heist, it, it, like it, it just wasn't a thing that was for me. I, I looked, I was like, "Oh, great!" Like, is this gonna be? Because at first, when I when I first saw it, like through uh during like the Grammys, I think, uh-huh. um, I was like, "Oh, is this gonna be a, a West Side Story like that's, that's <laughs> remake?" What, that's what I thought originally. Like, oh. And then they're like, "No, it's gonna be something different." And you know, they're gonna be singing and dancing in the streets, and everybody, like you know, it's gonna be about like the plight of Afro Latinos. And so it's gonna be great. It really wasn't. It was a plight of white passing Latinos. Oh yeah. Didn't didn't somebody like say something to uh Yes the world? root of did an interview with part of the cast and the actual director for the movie, which oh. Funny enough, the director of that movie is actual director of Crazy Rich Asians too, which had the same exact issue of not casting any dark skinned Asians in Lee Rose in that movie. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if there's a pattern here. It's a definite pattern. Huh. 
man, I wonder what the clue is between, like, what correlates these two movies together and why we couldn't get, like, any darker skin like Latinos or Asians. Man, I wonder if we'll ever figure this out. I don't think we will. It's a mystery of the mysteries. I mean, <laughs> it, it might have something to do with this director. Yeah. Uh, he got called out about it, too. He was like, you know, we didn't have that conversation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a non thing to say. I bet he did. Wait, hold on. He not him going, man. We should have that conversation. He and then walked away. He literally said to her, he's like, we have a conversation. We never do. Right? Like, he's that like, doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Say we have, we have it right now. Right? That, that's funny. It's like, man, like somebody should do something about this really terrible thing. You? <laughs> well, not me. What are you talking about? We need to have a conversation, but not me. And exactly. That's what he basically did. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, we need to talk about this, but not me. And I'm not. I'm not gonna get involved. The worst part about it was some of the cast members were like, you know, they chose people that fit the role the best. So you telling me there were no black people could fit these roles? Nobody, right? So like, you telling me that these roles were obviously made for white passing, lighter skin Latinos only? Right? All these conquistadors, <laughs> um, the Spanish, like, like the Spanish Inquisition was like, yeah, like no, no, no darkies. <laughs> No, no dark skinned people in, um, in my in my Afro Latino movie. And the only black person they had in the movie was actually black. He wasn't like Afro Latino. He was a black dude. They know that. But see, but that, but that makes sense because like, isn't in the Heights like in New York? <laughs> yeah, it's in uh, Washington Heights. Okay, so is is Washington Heights like a like like how diverse is that neighborhood? It's though? predominantly Afro Latino. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> like it's heavily hmm. melanated. <laughs> huh? So okay, so like, but hmm. th- like there are plenty of Dominicans. Like, I've been to New York before. Like, but wait, 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 wait. We can't just uh, say Dominicans because you know half time they don't like saying they black. Well, these are the Afro like these are Afro Dominicans. These are, okay, these are the one like I'm just I'm not I'm not black one. These are the black I'm black and I speak oh. Spanish. <laughs> but hmm, that's that's so weird. It's very weird because if if it's if it's in washington heights and washington heights is a very pre- predominantly afro-latino neighborhood like yeah hmm your mm. girl's in the movie though what girl your girl from um orange is the new black the thick one you like oh dasha polanco yeah she was in there oh i mean i'm still not watching it she ain't had much of a speaking role either <laughs> See, i'm definitely not gonna watch she it was now. There, she was just there look pretty and do some dancing and be cute <laughs> like she but i mean but the, but that goes along on that same problem and yeah. everything where uh because the other latino you know, the other afro latino character that was in the movie he was kind of like a supporting character he didn't have any of lines either so i'm like okay so i mean but is isn't anthony uh ramos uh afro latino is he i mean ask him not me yikes. <laughs> ask him that's your boy <laughs> i mean that's yeah, your he, man. Is, he is funny <laughs> But um, uh, yeah, I don't think he ca- I don't think he counts Oof. right about now. Uh, look, he's pretty light. <laughs> Love the pre- death. Pretty light. That man might as well be uh. He got a little color though. Look, he might as well be Boba. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Another part of the story was um, Gina Torres came out and said, you know, they like the Latinos to be to look uh, Italian, <laughs> not like me. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Yup, <laughs> she wasn't wrong. She was wrong. She was sorry. She was trending too the whole day. Gina, Tor- Gina Torres is love her so is, much. Is it's and it's so and it's so funny because like I've seen Gina Torres in plenty of roles where where like you know she's usually a black woman when she's in these roles. But though. but see, but that but but that's the, but that's the thing that I'm saying. I'm like Gina Torres is very much Latina. Yes. And but 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 I but I love it that like you know she's in roles where like she's predominantly a black woman. But she wants to be in roles where she's Afro Latina, though. Oh, well, see, but like that's the problem. She's only being in roles where she's looked at as just black. Oh, well, I mean, that's that dark skin. Exactly. It's like her and um, Liza Alonso too. Damn. Yeah. I I I, I didn't pay attention. To... Man, he is Afro Latino. He sure is, and he gets casted as a black dude all the time. Hollywood. Yeah, definitely Hollywood. Yeah, it's it, it, it's 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 all Hollywood's fault because they're like, yeah, you're Latino, but you're not. Latino, Latino. You're you're not horchata Latino. Right? You're 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 um burnt plantains Latino. <laughs> not burnt plantains. And, Yikes. And 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 it's so and it's so weird that like you know we have like these these very prominent like you know Afro Latino um like men and women in Hollywood and everything so many like that. Of them. 
but they don't but they don't get cast in these roles and everything because they're not seen as like latino or they're not authentic like they're not italian looking i mean like, but and it's so weird because it's just like okay so you want you want your latinos to look like spaniards and everything yep. like that where they have like Sophia they have like either like, right oh <laughs> The patron state of Latinas. What are you talking about? That's not Karen Diaz. Yikes! I keep forgetting she's Latin. <laughs> she that's not. Even... That's not Christina Aguilera. Woof! You might be talking about Jessica Alba now. Okay. I mean... Actually, she don't even consider herself to be um, Afro Latina or Latina at all. She's just herself white. Oh, see that that explains everything. <laughs> Hell, I thought Jessica Alba was a white woman for the longest. She's that's a whole Puerto Rican woman. Damn. Right. But she says she doesn't. She doesn't um, identify with her Puerto Ricanness. So. Oof. Even though she looks very, very much not white. Like, you can tell she's, like, not completely like a white woman. Okay. Well, yeah. Especially back I mean, in the day, like, when she was doing honey and stuff. Ah, like, yeah. When her hair was all curly and stuff. Yeah, you could definitely see it then. But now, it's right, like, yeah. she's, um, she's a white woman. I mean, it's it's better than, like, everybody confusing Ariana Grande for being a, a Latina. Listen. I, listen, I thought. I, I, thought was, I thought she was Latina, too. I thought she was like, oh, it's a little Latina girl. <laughs> she's white. <laughs> She is uh, she is male with olive oil. She is an Italian. I was like, oh, she's like Lady Gaga. Like, okay, well, I was wrong. Everybody saw that whole grind. Like, oh, she's Latina. I thought she was I, Latina. I, I keep forgetting like like you know Latin languages and everything, especially Spanish and uh, especially Spanish and Italian and everything yeah, Spanish, are very Italian are very French. similar. Yep, they all from, come from Latin, so they all right. share too many similarities. Um, you could be Garcia, you could be Italian, or you could be Hispanic. It don't even matter. Oh, that's true. But yeah, I love the fact that Gina Torres spoke up about this, saying that she does like the fact this movie is out because it does open more doors. But we definitely need to start making be more critical of these movies because of the fact we need to see dark skinned Latinos actually in forefront. Because when you go to like any Spanish like speaking country, most of the time the people on TV are looking like they like white people. The right. people who live there are not white. <laughs> right. It's like it's like go to go to the Dominican Republic, go yeah. to Brazil, and everything. There are definitely dark skinned Brazilians, oh God, dark Brazil skinned has, Dominicans, yep. dark skinned Puerto Rican. Yep. Um, and, and like, and not only that, it's just that most, of, and a lot of the time, they look visibly like they're not, like they're not unambiguous. They're very like this is a, a African American, not African American. This is very much so the Afro Latino, like right. Is, yeah, this, this is this is a person with African blood and everything, yes. and they definitely like share some 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 sim- similarities with like you know African Americans, but other like you know other like uh Caribbean and uh just out uh, like countries with like African uh blood in them anyway. Mm-hmm. Like so, like you know the Caribbean. The, um, like Jamaicans, Haitians, yep, like all that and everything, and even 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 some of our like you know like um like people in the motherland, oh, the um, native Africans, yeah, like native Africans and everything, like definitely looking a lot like them. So it's like, why can't we see these people on TV? We need to because like we need to see a diverse, we just see diversification of the way Latinos are seen in mainstream. Like we can't just see you know Sofia Vergara and J Lo. For the rest of our lives, like there are more people with more melanin that are still Latino that should be, you know, represented too. Yeah, and and for the longest, and I'm glad I'm glad you brought up Gina Torres because, like, for the longest, I was like, oh, that's an interesting last name for a black woman, <laughs> and and never and never thought like too and never thought too too much about it until like recently when I'm just like, oh yeah, Afro Latinos, yeah. of course Gina Torres, and then now like now you brought up La- like Laz Alonzo, of course Laz Alonzo, yep, it's fine so. Whew. And so it's like, yeah, we need more of that representation. Be- and, like, you know, just to, like, kind of have that for, like, all of our Afro-Latino uh, brothers and sisters and and comrades and everything for all my people who are non-binary or gender non-conforming who are also Afro-Latino. Right. Um, They out here. Yeah, like, <laughs> the, these people exist, and they deserve to be, like, seen on TV. Just like dark-skinned black people deserve to be seen on TV oh, and deserve to be in lead roles and everything other yep. than, like, you know, thug number one or the main villain. Yep, or it's some Tyler Perry movie. Look, we're not we're not gonna talk about him. We could have a whole episode about Tyler Perry, honestly. <sighs> do you, what? Will we just critique his uh films and and shows? <sighs> no, I don't want to do that. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, don't put me through that. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna downvote every single one of not them. Downvote, <laughs> like it's on Reddit. <laughs> like downvote everything. Look, uh, look, I'm sorry. Like uh, everything can downvote. Maybe maybe I might keep one or two because I did. Because I'll admit, I did enjoy Why Did I Get Married. I mean, like those who like those what that was a pretty good movie yeah why did i get married why did i get married two really good movies everything else trash basura acrimony is still Uh, pretty nope 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 (laughs) 
Nope, I'm not talking. Nope. Speaking of which, Kenny JD's gonna do a uh, bad movies with a beat about that tomorrow. I'm so ready for that. What acrimony? Yes, <laughs> finally. Nope. Yes, yeah, so I'm watching. I'm watching that. Okay, wait. I, I, not her doing one on acrimony. Well, she acrimony. already did a fall from grace. A fall from grace was way worse. Than acrimony was. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's at least we got Taraji P Henson. Like we at least had that at the very least. I mean, we have my we have Makai Brooks in um a fall from grace with that bad wig. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about. It. I didn't forget. I, I remember that movie was terrible. Look, he gave us blessed lines. He so. did. He did. But he like he had like little cotton balls that like, dipped in black. And that put that, that was terrible. I was like, boy, this is not the nineties. That wig was terrible. Uh, that, that wig. Like he might as well just been bald. I would have accepted that. Just be bald. Like why can't you be? I think I think Tyler Perry got tired of the dark skin and bald joke, so I that's guess. why he put that wig on him. <laughs> His wig be so bad. Like, the wig he put on uh, Shamar Moore was tragic. Ooh. Them braids. Them, them braids Ooh. was garbage. Shamar Moore is so good looking. Them braids were so bad on that man's food. Like, why Why can't people just be bald? Be bald. Be bald is fine. Don't stick hair on people who don't need hair. Really? Like, like it, it, people can be bald. People be bald. People Hell, be Tyler bald. Perry was bald for the longest. Yeah. Until he started growing his hair back out. And I'm just like, no bald men in his movies and TV shows. Unless it's me. <laughs> unless it's me. That's trash. I mean, that's kind of how... Well, I mean, he didn't put a wig on like Malik Yoba or anything like that. Thank God. Yeah, that would have been trash. Malik Yoba too fine to have a... Oh, God. Please, stop doing it to our black man. Right? That's what that's what, that's what's tearing down the black community. <laughs> that's what's emasculating our black man, putting them in bad wigs. Yes. Oh, please stop it. Oh, man. All right. Uh, but well, We went through a lot tonight. Wow. That was quite a bit. It was quite a bit. Do you have any final thoughts or stuff you're looking forward to? Next week um, or so? I'm I'm looking forward to uh the last mercenary. I can't wait for, I can't wait that's to watch be that. So that's, silly. That's, that's that's gonna be funny. <laughs> um I'm definitely looking forward to Witcher season two. Um also cat the like the next iteration of Castlevania that's coming up. I can't wait to see what they do with Richter. And uh, uh this Resident Evil stuff. Like this Resident Evil stuff gonna be exciting. Issa Rae is Spider Woman is so gonna be good. really good. Uh, I can't I can't wait for that. It's a Spider Verse is gonna be great. And uh aren't you, Cal- to, aren't you looking forward to Black Widow coming out with what? Your, your girl? Huh? Who? <laughs> Scar- Who? Scar- I, I don't know her. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't. You a whole MCU stand. Look, I like I said, Black Widow dropped two <laughs> years ago in Endgame. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm dro- good. I dropped literally. Uh, like, I mean, oh, wait. Oh yeah, we, did say we are you... going to see it together. <sighs> oh God, I gotta watch this damn movie. I'm watching it just for uh, Taskmaster. Taskmaster better better like do something. You better beat her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! First of all, that woman is a super soldier, so she could take it. She ain't no super soldier. Yeah, she is. What? That's the whole thing. They took they take the serum. Oh, I didn't know. Th- yeah, oh. that's the whole project when they, she was in that red room. Huh? I don't take the um what you call it, the serum. It's a different it's a different strand of, but it's the super soldier serum. How could she not that strong in like the show? Because or, it's, not or the the same, it's not the same one. Oh. So yeah. she just got enhanced reflexes. Yeah, she has enhanced everything else, but she don't have like super strength and everything. That's lame. I would, I would be like, can I get, can I get what Cap got? Well, that's different. That's that strand is done. I mean, I don't know. Well, man. not now. <laughs> I was gonna say U.S. agent. <laughs> Yo, I forgot about Loki. Oh, I'm not watching that. Uh, oh yeah, I need to watch like Loki's episode two. Actually, good. Like Loki I, surprised me. That show is actually really. I gotta, good. I got I gotta rewatch like that that first episode because uh, isn't episode two out? Yep, it's out. Okay, I'll probably spend some time tomorrow. I forgot all about that, that. Yeah, Loki's good. Watch Loki. Ooh, please. That show was surprisingly good. Maybe, yeah, maybe my favorite Disney Plus like Marvel show because that it's it's yeah. so. It's kind of hard to explain it. It's like it's, it bounces around a lot, and it does a lot. Of like it's very quick. I play like that. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, yeah, because Wandavision is a slow, slow bit of a slow burn. burn until like what episode <laughs> like three, four. Yeah. Uh, and but then like everything else after that was like really good. I like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I love that show too, but it definitely was like up and down. Like okay, some parts like okay, it's really slow. Then, all right, action, 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 action. It's slow. Actually, it, it was just bouncing around a lot for me. Okay, um, I still love the show. Though. It was very story heavy, but also it, was, it felt very poignant too, because like Disney was like, yeah, like you know, racism, race, racism is bad, and but super not- soldiers are bad, <laughs> and, ca- and a black man can't be Captain America, but he totally could, because <laughs> black people are more than just being black. <laughs> Shield. <laughs> Yikes. Falcon. 
Winter Soldier. <laughs> I just thought about something. What? They showed um Loki killing um what's his face? Um Colson. But Colson's alive though in the um TV show for Agents of Shield. I forgot how they finagled that. But they said that show didn't even canon anymore. So is he still dead in MCU right now? Who look, who knows? We ain't seen him since. <laughs> so we we just gonna say Colson dead. Yikes. Did they just completely eviscerate Agents of Shield? They had to, because they had the Dark Hold is now with um Wanda now. Wait, what? The Dark Hold. That thing she got that book? Oh. That was the whole point of Shield. They were looking for that book. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> they spent they they spent what three, four or five seasons looking for that book and she got it? Like, oh, well, here it is. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Yeah, Agents of Shield it, probably it, felt like a fever dream or something. It's probably like it probably got retcon. It has to be because now it just makes sense that she has it out of nowhere. Because they were looking, that was like the whole point of that show for a while to look for that book. Yes, that Wanda just magically has. Like it just it just went into thin air like poof. I hate you. <laughs> look, I'm just saying. Thin air. All right, I think we're all out of time now because I'm very good getting tired. But same, definitely was a great episode. Can't yeah. wait to do another one. Thank you guys for listening to us ramble about this bootleg geek week <laughs> and pulling out all the good stuff from it. Um, let us you think. Um, if you're a fan of Lucifer, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you listen to our other podcast, The Rush Hour, find out all of the goodness and the mid stuff that happened at E3 this year. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next episode. Woo!